What is up everybody? Today we're back with another tier list and I know I said I was going to be doing the recovery tier list in a couple videos ago, but that's not this. I'm actually going to be doing uh, basically a how likely it is that someone can play this character character, which is not exactly a difficulty tier list, but it's somewhat related, but it's just like how interesting people find the character. So it's like commonality plus their strength plus, you know, just basically maybe if it's not even their main, they're still going to like enjoy the getting the character on like randubs, right? But yeah, that's what we're doing, so let's get into it. I'm just gonna pick a random character, Robin. I feel like Robin, people generally know like an okay amount about Robin. I feel like they don't obviously have the intricacies or sometimes like won't be able to catch book or sword very well, but generally people know what they're doing. They know how arc fire sends, they know like the basic combos because nothing too complex with the character, but still has a good amount of uh, niche things, so definitely not gonna be like A or S tier, uh, but also not gonna be lower in these, like, the people don't know what they're doing at all. Captain Falcon. Everyone has a Falcon. I feel like at this point in the meta, most people know how to IDJ. Most people can play this character perfectly fine. They might not have the perfect combos all the time. I mean, hell, I see there was that, there was that one Twitter Falcon that has the craziest combos known to man, and most people aren't gonna do that, but either way, most people are very comfortable on Falcon and can definitely execute his game plan. Min Min, no one knows how to play this character. Straight up, if you don't main Min Min, you don't know how to play this character. Or like, if you weren't interested in playing her seriously, you don't know how to play her. This is one of the most awkward characters in the game. Um, I feel like people don't appreciate how hard her disadvantage is when they try to play her, so they just like get blown up. People are bad with this character, absolutely, 100%. People suck with this character. And I'm saying like, people like pros, like pros suck at this character. Clicking a random one, Olimar. Also, no one knows how to play Olimar. People are very uninterested in learning this character, in playing that character, so when a lot of people get him in randubs or in like an Iron Man, it is kind of over. Uh, in my opinion, at least. I'm sure there are other people that that's not, like, not every pro, because I know Mars is pretty competent with the character, even though, one, he hates the character, and two, you know, just is uncommon. But, you know, I feel like some people play him well, and some people play him super bad, but most of it is super bad. Let's go with Inkling. I feel like Inkling, again, is kind of the middle-of-the-road character. It's a lot of neutral. Uh, I feel like a lot of Inkling, you know, non-Inkling players will kind of struggle to kill, which is obviously a big thing. Uh, and don't exactly know how to close out stocks. I don't know how often people know how to up throw up air. Don't know why I know how to do it. Uh, but, you know, character is relatively simple, so it can't be super low here. Uh, but at the same time, people don't really know the intricacies. Maybe it's more like A tier. Uh, you know, uh, recently there was that like that back air or nair like roller combos, which is kind of crazy in my opinion. But either way, uh, this character, relatively simple relatively not like low skill ceiling but just you know getting to like 90 percent is pretty easy and then the 90 to 100 is the hard part you know what i'm saying ice climbers obviously ice climbers is a very complex character uh that has a lot of intricacies but at the same time they're not going to be down here because you can play ice climbers without desyncs and without any of the complex stuff they're not as good clearly, right? But I definitely think you can play the character without knowing the complex stuff, but the complex stuff is what makes the character really good. I honestly, I would say B tier. Uh, people know how to squall, people know how Blizzard works, and up air is a really good move, and that's most of what you need. Isabel. Isabel, again, I'm gonna, well, I'm actually gonna put Isabel in the C tier. I feel like people know how to use the slingshots, but I feel like a good amount of her kit is either jab combos that people don't know how to do, or like learning how to get kills or like force people into down B and side B, uh, which can be very difficult. So I think that Isabel also is just not a very common character. So you're not just gonna have randomly be like, oh yeah, I'm fire with Isabel. Like that's not really gonna happen unless you're like a streamer and you're trolling. Falco, everyone has a little bit of a Falco. I think Falco, again, when you're talking like best of the best Falcos, there's a lot of complexities, but this character is, oh, you're playing someone that jumps, up tilt, up air, up air, up air, forward air, back air. Like, it's not particularly complex. Uh, obviously, if you're playing against a super good person and you have to play Falco, it can be challenging. But he has a pretty good recovery, simple game plan, strong combos. People are gonna know how to play the character. Was this how likely for someone to do well or just playing bracket? Oh, not bracket at all. Just like how like, it's almost like a randoms tier list of just like, who are you getting? This is a good character in randoms because most, you probably know how to play the character, but like a little different than that. So it's basically how likely it is that a random like pro can play the, like a random good person can play this character somewhat competently. Puff, low key, I feel like Puff isn't a character a lot of people know how to play. Uh, I feel like people don't really understand how nair loops work. 
or sorry, dare loops work. I feel like people in general aren't the best at edge guarding, which is one of her biggest strengths. And you know, it's very punishing when you mess up because you don't have, like if you miss a rest kill, you die. So I'm gonna say B tier. I think people like, she's not the most complex character, but overall not anything crazy. Joker, I feel like a lot of people mess with Joker. They, they, a lot of people are just like, yeah, I like to play Joker. Joker's super fun, Joker's super cool, or he's broken. So like, he was either popular and so people knew how to play him before, or people just kind of are like, yeah, his movement's really cool. So I feel like a lot of people know how to play Joker. Again, he's a little bit more complex, they're not gonna footstool down gun, but also Leo doesn't footstool down gun him. He's the best Joker. So, you know, kinda comes with uh, different little areas, I guess, if that makes sense. Lucario, no one knows how to play this character. Every single person that isn't Armadillo or whatever other Lucarios that you're going to be watching in tournament don't know what they're doing, mess around, like mess up doing sh uh, Aura Sphere stuff, and then die. And then maybe potentially win the game anyway because it's Lucario and then they get like one player read into a Forest Masher back air at 55%. But no one knows how to play this character. He's so niche and he's so unlike basically every other character. Dr. Mario, yo, everyone, everyone says, yo, I got a hot doc that doc hot i'm gonna win like every sorry wrong one every single person thinks that doc is like low key their best low tier player and like i'm or characters and i'm one of those people although for me it's probably kirby uh but yeah everyone kind of knows how to play doc he is a very much like a one game plan type of character and of course jazar is gonna be like way better than everyone but yeah, super fun. I think DK is an A tier because people don't know DKO percents and or like ding dong percents, and that's a big one. But otherwise, he's pretty simple. Good buttons, big buttons. I'm gonna do kill moves, kill moves, kill moves. That's all you're doing. King DDD. I think DDD is in the lower end. Uh, I feel like most people know how to Gordo and know how to ledge trap, and that's kind of it. But also, that's like 85% of the character. And then we all mash down tilt because it's a funny move. Duck Hunt. Nah. Duck Hunt is, I feel like a lot of what Duck Hunt does, maybe C tier, a lot of what Duck Hunt does isn't intuitive, but at the same time, side B into combo is good and just like using your projectiles is good. Of course, Can is going to be very, very hard to use, which is why he's super down here. But other than Can, I feel like this character is not the most complex, but Can by itself is incredibly complex and it can open up so much with the character. So other than Can, fine but Ken is like the good part of the character, so down here. Like I definitely think people have a better Duck Hunt overall than they would a Min Min. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Min Min's a better, but yeah. Meta Knight, uh, again, Meta Knight kind of like Puff is in this like B tier. A lot of people don't exactly know how to do the ladder combo. They are not great at edge guarding, even though it's pretty simple. They basically will just fish for a back air or an air at ledge and then hope to eventually do some damage, but not actually know how to do the ladders and then forward smash and hope it works. Ike. Everybody's got an Ike, not S tier Ike, because I feel like the uh, low key, the neutral of this character when you're like really playing him is a little harder than you would expect because it's so one dimensional. So not S tier, but in my opinion, A, like pretty simple, but like he's not, his stuff isn't simple enough in terms of like, oh man, this combo does 70% and it's simple. It's like, oh, you get 40 when it's simple, maybe 30. So that's kind of the reason why it's like A tier. It's like, you have to work a little harder when you're Ike. So therefore, less people know how to play the character. Does that make sense? I see people in the comments already being like, oh my God, I can't believe you think Ike is harder than Falco and Dr. Mario. And that's not what I'm saying, but that's okay. And hey, while you're down in the comments, don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate it. Ganondorf. Again, similar to DK, everyone has a Ganondorf. Literally Ganondorf would be an S tier, but he's so bad that sometimes when you know how to play the character, it doesn't matter because character sucks and you still lose, even if you kind of know what you're doing. But you don't really know what you're doing because you're just playing Ganon and he's, his options are simple, but they're like, you know, it's, it's not quite the same thing. Yoshi, Loki, Yoshi's way harder than people give him credit for, in my opinion. I feel like so many people don't actually know how to play Yoshi because Egg can be pretty complex. Uh, I feel like his combo routes aren't the most intuitive, uh, you know, because at least compared to these characters where it's like pretty obvious what their character routes are, Yoshi's combo routes are a little harder, a lot of delay aerials. I feel like people will burn their double jump earlier, not do the correct recoveries and just die because there's like a little bit of finickiness to him, in my opinion. Again, people are gonna hate me because everyone thinks this is a baby easy character, but there's a reason why there's such a big difference between like mid Yoshis and like the good Yoshis, you know what I'm saying? Me Gunner, no one knows how to play this character. Not this bad because people will still just be able to spam projectiles. 
uh, and like the character has a decent disadvantage state, but it's one of those characters that you don't know how to play the character unless you like tried playing the character, or again, you're a streamer and you're forced to play the character if you're doing a reverse Iron Man. <laughs> That's it. Ridley. I think Ridley's also harder than people give him credit for. I think Ridley's like relative, like he's not the most complex character in terms of like his combo routes or anything like that, but his neutral is surprisingly unintuitive, uh, considering especially how hard he can get hit. Like he gets combos and like it's a little weird in that regard. So you you don't actually understand how to risk reward correctly with this character most of the time. And because of that, it's gonna be B tier. Like again, these are like middle of the road. Like you kind of know how to play these characters, but not really. Terry. I feel like Jab Jab Power Dunk is good enough for the character that you don't need the rest of it. You don't need to know how to use F Tilt as this character because you can just down tilt Jab Jab Power Dunk or Jab Jab, you know, up B. It's like simple enough that I think it's up here, but it's definitely more complex to be S tier because there is a lot of complexities of Terry, especially with like negative edge, like Nair negative edge burn knuckle can be like pretty complex. And a lot of people don't understand how negative edge works, but definitely the simplest of and like the highest up here of all the fighting characters for sure. Incineroar, everybody's got an Incineroar. The difference between random, like high tier Incineroar player versus Sky J is Sky J's just right more. He's just more correct. He's not doing anything any he's not doing anything more complex. He's just outplaying people. He's not doing anything new with the character. He's just outplaying people. Like that's straight up what it is. He's like, yeah I'm just right all the time. Because when he's wrong, sometimes he gets like three stalked by like characters because he's wrong. And then he gets hit and it's Incineroar so he dies. But sometimes he looks like the best goddamn player in the world. Lucina, everyone kind of has Lucina. I feel like Lucina, again, relatively simple character, doesn't have that high of a skill ceiling in terms of like combos or anything like that. So it's just like learning how to play neutral really well. And a lot of people play sword characters. So therefore a lot of people can play Lucina because Lucina is a sword character. Make sense? Hero. Nah, this character's low key. Hero's hard. It is hard to play a character with bad frame data. People just roll and hope that they see Kaboom. Uh, the love the difference of like reading fast with this character and reading not that fast makes the character like already like way more difficult than people give him credit for and then his frame data is super bad so I feel like a lot of people just like flail around and hope to win you know what I'm saying but they don't like know how to win Luigi low key again he's grab combo the character but because his combos are so good and people understand the counterplay to them having that extra level of like how to beat the counterplay is kind of hard. Uh, also, he has so many different combo routes that he's automatically going to be a lot harder than most characters because like down, like the down tilt combos, the up tilt combos, they're all very complex. The upper bridge, the reverse upper bridges can be kind of crazy. So yeah, characters harder than people give him credit for. Obviously, he can, again, his 85% is broken, but that 85 to 100 is super difficult in my opinion. And also he has a bad recovery and he's super slow in the air. So it's really awkward for people that play any character with any decent type of air mobility. Even like Pika's so much faster than him in the air, which is crazy because Pika's not very fast in the air. You know what I'm saying? Little Mac. Everyone kind of know how to play Little Mac, but again, it's one of those like he's so bad that he's down here. And also if you're used to playing a character that knows how to jump a lot, like oh, there's a lot of ultimate players that don't really understand how to play the ground game because jump is so good in this game. Hell, like I'm kind of included in that. So I feel like there's a lot of players that don't understand how to solidly play ground game forever. And so because of that, he's down here because you have to understand only one part of the game. And if you don't understand that part of the game, you're not gonna do well. Does that make sense? Again, Byleth low key, a little harder than people think because you need to do really, really good spacing with this character because of the sweet spots and sour spots of the moves. I feel like if you don't have a perfect understanding of spacing, it's gonna be hard. If you don't like slingshot, this character is a lot harder. And mixing up rising and falling aerials, a lot of people don't have to worry about rising versus falling aerials because a lot of characters are just doing falling aerials, but then you don't understand how to nair correctly. Um, and like committing to that super early and understanding how people move on the ground, especially as a slow character, is kind of awkward. Also, his up is really weird to use. So people aren't gonna be super good at that. Rosa. Obviously, no one knows how to play Rosa. I think Rosa is one of the harder characters in the game. One of the characters that people aren't interested in having a Rosa because it's not like she like she does, you know, good versus game and watch, but not good enough to the point where people are going to pick up the character. And because a lot of her neutral is immediately complex, you know what I'm saying? Like very complex, very difficult. Killing with her is unintuitive. Any of her setups are unintuitive. She's yeah, she's not a character people are going to play. Bowser Jr. Low key, Bowser Jr. is not the most complex character. 
I feel like he has good neutral tools, pretty obvious ways to kill in terms of jab, in terms of back air, in terms of forward air. Uh, side B is obviously just a very strong move. Uh, if people don't know how to deal with it so you kind of just play the character relatively simply again he's not super super easy complex or sorry super easy simple win with him character but i feel like most people have a decent bowser jr i could be wrong about this one though i feel like i'm kind of wrong about that one maybe that's just my bias because i like bowser jr i don't know me brawler no one knows how to play this no one plays the Mies. the Mies, spoiler alert none of them are very high i feel like me brawler isn't the most complex character but no one picks up these characters they don't know how their moves work people don't know how to play me sword fighter with that nair people don't know how to combo with me brawler because his combos are low-key not that easy unless you're going for like just the simple like nair down tilt uh like forward air dash attack no one knows where how to down throw a thropper works. No one knows any of these things. That's why when I play against people and I do something that is clearly gonna never be a true combo, they're so scared because they don't know how the character works. And that includes when they're playing him. Same with me, Sword Fighter. No one, especially no one knows how to play this character. He's like the least common character in the game, therefore no one knows how to play him. He's a sword character with like a weird sword and weird moves. His down tilt's broken though. Mega Man. Ooh, Mega Man's definitely, I feel like, here. Pellet is so unique and so different to a lot of characters that people don't know how to play him. Like, he's so unintuitive. Leaf Shield's a weird way to land, even if it's good. Pellet is weird. He has, like, really unintuitive combos. His, like, airspeed is awkward. Rush is, like, a weird... Like, everything about him's kind of weird. He's sick, but no one... Like, not a lot of people are like, hell yeah, I have a Mega Man. Mega Man's one of those characters of, like, oh, no, why did I get Mega Man? I don't want to play Mega Man. Like, 100%. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. K rule. Everyone kind of has a K rule. Everyone knows how to back air spite. They love that. Everyone knows how to do that, right? I feel like K rule's game plan is simple enough. Um, you know, I feel like the one thing maybe, maybe people have an issue with is dealing with rushdown when they play K rule. But also, K rule players have issues, issues dealing with rushdown because it's hard and it's the flaw of the character more than a player aspect. Obviously no one's gonna get like the super big crown confirms, like the crown down air into, you know, uh, down tilt into down air up smash, like people aren't hitting that. But for the most part, not the K rule players are hitting that either. So, you know, take that as a grain of salt. Kazuya, I feel like enough people picked up Kazuya or like to at least learn how to electric uh, no, he's probably down here. Enough, like, I don't think Kazi's, like, the most complex character. Um, like, definitely. But you do have to learn how to electric, and you have to still learn several moves. And dealing with auto turnaround, especially his auto turnaround specifically, is really finicky. Because it's, like, not instant. So a lot of people will have trouble with that. And, of course, his he's really slow in the air. So it's weird, right? It's just weird. Low-key, everyone's got a pit. I feel like it's kind of like Byleth. But for some reason, Pit is more intuitive, probably because it doesn't have to space as much, uh, and he's faster. So his like neutral is a lot more simple when it comes to like he can dash attack, he can jump air, he can back air, and I feel like more people are down with that than like you must space or be in someone's face the entire time. No ifs, ands, or buts. Also, Arrow, Dark Pit's also up here. Okay, as again, they're basically the same character. Uh, if you play Dark Pit, you are just 99% more likely to side B randomly because you want to get that random 50% kill, which is super funny. But yeah, Pit, like, obviously no one does Pit like Zack, right? right? But I feel like Pit is a character that's people like, yeah, I'm competent with this character, you know what I'm saying? Game & Watch. Low key. Listen, Game & Watch's advantage state is crazy, and the top Game & Watch players make it look so simple. But I feel like most people don't actually know how to play this character. I feel like his movement is awkward enough, and his forward air is awkward enough, that you don't actually know how to use this character. But if you do, it's a good-ass Game & Watch, probably. But most people, I feel like, don't actually know how to play against Game & Watch when someone's, like, camping them or spacing them out, so they get very frustrated. Snake. I feel like people generally know some things about Snake, but I feel like one of the difficult things is obviously Grenade is super hard. Snake is one of the harder characters in the game, uh, but I feel like he's in like people are interested enough in Snake to the point where he's not down here. He's more up here where it's like, yeah, you don't know some of the things, but you were interested. So you have like a little bit of competence with the character. Like, you know, maybe he had a Xenade or, you know, like random little things, but you don't know like how to place grenades correctly in every match. If you're not like crawling and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Pac-Man. No one knows how to play his character. No one knows how to play the character, but at the same time, the character's game plan is simple enough because you're like, I'm gonna get Galaga at low percents and then Galaga at mid percents and then Bell at upper mid percents and then random fruit to kill later. 
I feel like the character has a good amount of, I feel like the character obviously has a bunch of particularities, but you don't need all of those. And again, for the most part, even the top Pac-Man players don't do them except for like once in a set to get a random cheese kill with like Apple that like zooms across the stage with uh, the water for some reason. But I feel like overall it's like, yeah, go behind Hydrant, back air, jab, get, and like people are down. Ness, low key, Ness kind of hard. Ness is not simple, I feel like. I feel like he is very, if you don't know how to like stall with Magnet or you don't know how to do like his combos, which are weird, like he's pretty hard. Like it just ends up resorting to PK fire spam uh, or like hoping to get two frames, which again, pretty good, not gonna lie. But uh, he's really committal and it's really hard to not just get hit for being committal. So I'm gonna put him a little, a little lower. And again, there's no like order in the tiers. I might order the top tier at the end, but like, it, it, there's no order within the tiers. Bowser. Everyone's got a Bowser. You know you're gonna command grab people on shield. You know you're gonna flame breath two frame. This character has a very obvious game plan, and in my opinion, that just makes it so that everyone's like, yeah, I can play Bowser. Again, you don't wanna fight the Marios, the Peaches, the Pikas, when you are playing him on something like random, but yeah, like, your Bowser's fine. Pokemon Trainer. I know Pokemon Trainer's relatively simple, but I feel like, not simple enough for everyone to know how to play him. I feel like, you know, not being super comfortable with when to switch or like how the weights of every character are. For some reason, like Ivysaur's upbeat being weird or not getting used to the frame data of Charizard makes it like a little less intuitive than you would expect. I'm actually gonna still put it, mm, mm, no. I feel like if you mess up a couple things as PT, it's a really big deal because you need to hit everything that you hit. So I'm gonna put him down here. Piranha Plant. No one knows how to play Piranha Plant. People don't like Piranha Plant. People don't play Piranha Plant. He, even though he has like a relatively simple game plan because it's like hope to get counter hits with Patui, like what do you do other than that? How do you force people to run into you? You don't. I don't know what it'll do. I mean, I'm, my plant is like decent, but I feel like a lot of people don't actually know how to play this character other than like the one combo with like, you know, down throw, up air, Patui, forward air, like every top player knows how to do that, but you don't actually know how to like kill with the character. His like frame data is really weird. His hitboxes are really bad. So like, you, he's not intuitive at all in my opinion. Pichu. No one knows how to play Pichu. No one knows how to play Pichu. If you didn't play the game at the beginning of 2019, you had zero interested in picking people up. That's it. And then no one knows how to quick attack or thunder or, you know, uh, back air drag down his, his back air loops. No one knows how to do those. Why would you? There's no reason to. I'm not even competent with this character, but I can do basically everything but the back air loops. Hell no. Along with that, dude, I swear to God, the every single time I'm like in someone's chat and they're doing something, they're like, yo, let me play Pika for you. It's always bad, every single time. And not even by like my standards, people don't know how to play this character. They don't know how to T-Jolt correctly. They don't know how to quick attack correctly. They don't know how to combo because people don't know how to nair loop. They don't know how to do back air chains correctly. Like literally, they don't know how to space up air or get combos with up air. This character's so complex for no reason. And again, this isn't ordered. So like, he's not like the hardest character, but like, I feel like there are, eight people that are good with Pikachu and it's all just Pikachu players. I've never seen a good pocket Pika, ever. And you're lying to me if you think you have. Like people on in Iron Man's barely win with the character, you know what I'm saying? Corrin. I feel like people have a decent understanding of Corrin for sure. I feel like, you know, the character is not that complex or that difficult. But at the same time, like the slow speed is going to prevent it from being S tier and using pin is a little awkward. So it's gonna prevent it from being S tier, but a lot of people are down to play Corrin. You know who's not, people aren't down to play? Ken. Oh, he sucks. He's the hardest shoulder to play because he's the most like specific with his combos. He has the most inputs. He has half circles um, that like you need in like random situations. He's hard. He's fast, but he's hard. And also negative edge with him is super awkward for me. Or like in general, I feel like, like he's the most awkward with negative edge. So yeah, that's got him out of the way. Ryu, I think Ryu's still down here. People don't know how to play Ryu exactly, but also, his Nair is so good, like his his general game plan is so good with like Nair down tilt. Uh, it's just good enough that it doesn't matter, whereas Ken's is just a little worse. He can also just like camp a little bit. And of course, like Tatsu being a kill move and Shoryu being a kill move. Uh, I think that Ryu is definitely easier to play than Ken for sure. What's negative edge? So when you play a fighting game, so in fighting games, pressing the button is an input and sometimes letting go of the button is an input for special moves. So if you do, tap A, quarter circle forward, let go of A, you'll get their quarter circle forward 
uh, special. Whether it's Hadoken or Burn Knuckle Link. No one knows how to play this character. Not that bad to know this character because he can still nair and forward tilt and do his sword moves, but like, no one knows how to use Bomb. People barely know how to use Boomerang. Like, his nair is so good that is he's at least C tier, but I feel like no one's super competent in their Link. Absolutely. Like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Fox, in terms of his game plan, should be up here, but he's so squishy that people are gonna be not comp confident in playing Fox because they will die. Like, Fox is broken, but he's squishy enough that if you aren't a dedicated Fox player, you're gonna be like, I'm fine, I'm fine, oh, I got thrown off stage. I died at 15, are you serious? And that's kind of the experience playing Fox. It definitely, it's funny. I don't, I think people's secondary Peaches are better than their secondary of these characters. Just because I feel like enough people have been like, I'm gonna learn how to do some basic Peach stuff. Whereas people like don't even touch these characters, if that makes sense. And that's literally the only reason Peach is over here. Obviously she's super difficult and realistically she's in D tier because she's so difficult and people that aren't Peach players aren't gonna know that. But yeah, I think enough people are like, at least relatively interested in her that they've learned some stuff. Samus. Everyone knows how to play Samus. Again, not like crazy competently, but Samus is a character that no one's gonna be like, ugh, I got this character and I need to win. This is bad. Like you're gonna, it's fine. You're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Bayonetta. Um, I think she's definitely C tier. I think that some people know how to play this character, but like messing up your triple jumps dies and like recovering in different ways is so awkward for Bayonetta, for like non Bayonetta players that are playing Bayonetta. I don't think it's D tier because she can do still do stuff pretty simply and you can get reads with like witch time and stuff. Um, and sometimes it's just like up B, side B, up B, side B, forward air, and you don't care. Uh, but obviously her more complex stuff is like very much so no one knows how to do it unless you're playing Bayo. No one knows how to triple jump, you just jump and hit up B. Most, uh, most competent players know how to triple jump, but that doesn't mean they won't just randomly double jump and then die. Cloud. Everyone knows how to play Cloud. His aerials are just so good. Like the reason Cloud is such a strong character isn't because he's he has a plethora of options that are just like super overwhelming to deal with. He has like three options that are impossible to deal with. So people can just use those three options and it's fine. Banjo. Low key, I think more people know how to play Banjo than they think. Uh, they probably don't know how to use one of the moves like neutral B, normal or neutral B like with the hold gun. Uh, but I feel like other than that, it's like, I'm gonna up B and side B. I, I, people know how to do the grenade catch. Uh, so I think it's like a little easier than people give it credit for. But obviously like the good stuff is way more complex and he has trouble killing, which is, you know, annoying. Krom. Everyone knows how to play this character and then they die off stage and they are terrified of him. So because of that, that's literally the only reason he's gonna be an A tier because I think he's relatively simple. Uh, he's simpler in my opinion than Roy, but that fear of being off stage is rough. Lucas. No one knows how to play Lucas. Why would you know how to do the Zare Chains? Why would you know how to play this character? Placing his back here is super awkward. He has weird drag down combos that only sometimes work and you never see anyone do it until you're playing a god like Lucas main and then you suddenly take 70 billion percent for no reason. No one knows. You're, no. No. Hell no. You don't know. How to, no. No. He's super awkward and different. PK Fire. That's all they know how to do. It's fine. The Belmonts. I think the Belmonts have a simple enough game plan that it's a B tier, uh, just because like, like they may fail, but like you don't really need to space your moves perfectly because it still hits them away. His projectiles are simple, uh, in my opinion, like the ledge trapping is simple. The disadvantage is like bad, but you know, it still works in a way that makes sense and is intuitive to a lot of players. So for that, he's B tier. He's definitely not air S, uh, cause he's like awkward for a zoner and having to hit like the diagonals is pretty weird, but yeah. Diddy Kong. I think Diddy Kong, like some people have him really good. If you can play fast, a lot of like those players are competent with Diddy Kong, but if you can't play fast, he, no one knows how to play him. Like you can't just camp and shield with him. Uh, you have to be like a kind of an idiot when you play Diddy Kong. You have to like spam a lot to like scare people. Um, and also people kind of like, I feel like when you're not a Diddy Kong main and your opponent gets banana, you go, oh no, I'm screwed. And that's like a really weird feeling that most characters don't have to deal with. I feel like Kirby is way faster than people that don't play Kirby give him credit for. So because of that, like I feel like people are like, I'm gonna play this slow floaty character, but the Kirby players got hands. And mostly feet actually, because it's like down tilt and forward tilt and up tilt. They got feet and it's really aggressive and hyper aggressive. I mean, again, his game plan isn't super complex. And if you're good at hitting a bunch of buttons, you'll be able to play Kirby at like a decent level but I feel like it's still not as common as like these characters where the game plans are a little bit more intuitive and they have either like really obvious strengths like Doc or 
uh, you know, like really good, like strong game plans of just like walling people out. Young Link. I think that Young Link's projectile, like play is a little bit harder than people would like to give him credit for. Uh, I think that it's not super simple to play Young Link. Obviously you're gonna like run back an arrow and arrow and arrow and then suddenly you get caught out because his disadvantage is kind of bad. So I feel like people aren't ready to actually play against the character. Or sorry, like play against the counterplay of this character. They always think like, yeah, I know how to play Young Link. I can do all this, I can just spam. And then they like get hit by any piece of Young Link counter. Shulk, no one knows how to play Shulk. They don't. No one knows how to change arts and hits done like effectively. It's such a weird, unintuitive thing to have to do. Um, you know, he's one of the hardest characters in the game for a reason. People also aren't interested in playing Shulk because I don't know. I don't know why. Like I, I was interested and then I stopped because of online. Like he's a hard character to play online, so it's not like you can even just get better with him by practicing on Elite Smash for any reason. Uh, like you can improve. Obviously everyone can improve, but it's not as simple as a lot of other characters. Sheik. I feel like people don't know how to play Sheik and then die really early, because if you don't know the combos, it's a little difficult. I'm not saying the combos are like the most complex things on the planet. I mean, some of them are, like the Void stuff is complex, but no one's doing that but Void anyway. But I feel like if you don't know like very important, like there are several very important things with Sheik that are a lot more difficult than like most of the characters up here, which is mostly just like killing and like drag downs. A lot of people don't understand how drag downs work like as a whole. Uh, so yeah, Sheik's a little hard for sure. Mario, everyone's got a goddamn. He's so much air mobility. His moves are so safe. You can constant. You can immediately just be a mix up master with Mario if you play the character. So yeah, ever yeah, it's Mario for sure. Everyone knows how to play Mario. Palutena, Loki, Palutena is not actually that high. I feel like a lot of people will struggle to play. Actually, more, maybe she's more here. I feel like a lot of people will struggle to fight against uh, Palutena. Sorry, to play as Palutena because you don't know how to kill and you don't know how to deal with people that are like not just running into all your invincible moves. Of course, she has like incredible strengths and is simple in her advantage state. But I feel like her neutral, I'm gonna put it in A tier still. It's a little harder than people give it credit for, so I feel like a lot of people think Palutena is in S tier of easy or like competent, but it's more so A tier for sure. Villager, no one wants to play this character, nor does anyone know how to play this character. There are so few good villagers. And again, similar to Isabel, it's like some of the things are pretty simple with like Slingshot and Side B, but then you're gonna get blown up for hitting Side B against someone that like knows how to play against you. And also sometimes it's a struggle to kill with this character because it doesn't have obvious things or like you get a one turn up and you're just like, mm, great, awesome, love that. And it's very frustrating. So then people will just not play the character and then because of that, be bad with him. Most people are not good with Villager for sure. Sonic has a lot of complexities to him that a lot of people don't realize are hard. He's so hard to play all the time. Sonic is so bad at approaching unless people just get hit by spin. It's so hard to play people that are defensive with Sonic. It's so difficult. Of course, if you get like his advantage, it's really good, but also his combos are a little harder than people would like to think they are, especially with like the upper fastball stuffs and like Nair back air, Nair forward smash. Like it's a little harder than you would think. Still really broken and good, but I feel like if you plopped Sonic on the control like as, like in a game and you gave it to like most high level players, they don't know how to play the character. Again, is he like the hardest character to pick up? No, but that doesn't mean people know how to play him immediately. You know what I'm saying? Steve, I feel like Steve has enough simple things that it's B tier. Obviously it's like the simple stuff is really good, which is why he's here, but obviously he has some level of complexity that literally no other character in the game has. But again, no one really know. like the good Steves don't know that. The, the the only Steve that like has a crazy combo game currently of like active Steve players is Rockman. It's so rare otherwise. So in my opinion, Steve is like a character that a lot of people can play okay at like a mid level, but then like, or like at a competent level, but then anything higher than that is impossible. Marth. I will say Marth is whatever Lucina's tier is, but one lower because tippers are annoying. And because tippers are annoying, people are gonna struggle to kill. And if they struggle to kill, then that means that people can come back on them and he's floaty and weird and has a mediocre disadvantage state. So therefore a lot of people are going to struggle even when they're, you know, decently competent with their fundies. I think Toon Link is the simplest link. Obviously, not obviously, definitely some of his uh, bomb combos aren't, you know, everyone doesn't know them necessarily. But at the same time, he's simple. Boomerang fair, bomb fair, 
Like, he's not the most complex character, so therefore, people that have fundamentals will be able to play them, and the game plan is simple enough. In my opinion, a lot easier, because he has a better disadvantage state than Young Link. Uh, his game plan is a lot simpler than Link's, and also doesn't have, like, the incredibly complex move of Bomb. So, yeah, he's a little simpler, in my opinion. I think he's the easiest uh, Link to play. Sephiroth. People are bad with Sephiroth. Se oh, I maybe like here. Oh no, you can't see past Byleth. Oh no, I have to zoom out. So yeah, Sephiroth is a character that I feel like people can play sword character. Now I'm gonna put him down here. He's a sword character with like really awkward frame data, kind of like Shulk, but it's just not as complex as Shulk and as difficult as Shulk. So, uh, people are like, yeah, Wing is great, I love it. Like his Buddha's movement's like not that good for how slow his moves are. And it's really weird to play him because his moves are unlike basically every other sword character. So for that reason, he's down here. What's my crawling move set? One, two, three, two. We fit trainer. Low key, people got a Wii Fit trainer, I think. I think I think more people know how to play Wii Fit than they expect. Uh, the moves are like not the most intuitive thing, but I feel like the advantage is simple enough and just using like deep breathing and ball is simple enough and having a charge shot is simple enough that yeah, you're gonna be up there. I'm gonna say similar to Mewtwo. Like you have a charge shot, you have obvious strengths and you can use a command grab with side B. Like, are you gonna be getting all the drag down combos with Mewtwo? No, are you gonna be able to like crouch and do all like the specific counterplay that Wii Fit needs to do to some matchups? No. But that doesn't mean you can't play the character and be like, oh yeah, I actually, my Wii Fit's like low key kind of good. You know what I'm saying? Rob. People know how to play Rob. Again, his complex stuff, no. But Zamba didn't get like a single zero to death at Genesis. So do you need it? You can play the, you know how to down tilt, you know how to forward air, you know how to nair. Yeah, it's not, it's it's like, you can play this character well enough and it, you don't need the super complexities of it in my opinion. Roy, low key, low key. Again, Roy is in my opinion more complex than Krom. I think getting the sour spots is a little annoying and it's tilting when you don't get them. I feel like people can do the advantage states and the combos decently easy, but I don't know. I think Roy's harder than people give him credit for, even if he is, in my opinion, super underrated. Yeah, I think I think he goes in B tier. Greninja. Greninja is also in the B tier, in my opinion. Uh, I think he's his game plan is relatively simple with like dash attack and up air and stuff, but his combos are like low key a little harder than people would think, and his um, edge guarding is low key kind of awkward, and he has like a lot of moves that are really weird to use. Uh, his good moves are obviously good, right? Like landing nair, landing forward air, dash attack, back air, up air. But also his moves fall out a lot. And so understanding when that will happen and to know to not go for it is just not a skill that most people have because most characters have single hit competent uh, or like not mess upable moves. And Greninja is not that character. His yeah, out of shield's also not great. So people that are used to playing out of shield characters can't play him like me, Aegis. Everyone's got at least a little bit of an Aegis. You're gonna die off stage. So, but it's like it's like Chrom, but with a simpler advantage state and an easier neutral, in, in my opinion. So, again, I think Aegis is overrated. Rated, but like, if you plop a random con a controller into a random like top 400 players' hands and give them Aegis, they're gonna know what to do. They might not back air combo you, but he does. She doesn't need it because you just up air, up air, up air for a billion times, it's fine. Sora, no one knows how to play this character, but a little bit better than these characters. No, actually no, his his double jump is super awkward, his floatiness is super awkward, he has really good moves, but at the same time, you can't do spell into dash attack, so maybe he, no, I think he's still, he's super awkward to play. I, I feel like a lot of people don't play floaty characters, especially characters as floaty as him. Obviously, the people that don't play him don't know how to do his combos for the most part. They'll might get like Nair Fair, like Nair 1, 2, Fair 1, 2, 3. That's fine. But yeah, he's, his combo routes are too difficult and too important to his game plan that, in my opinion, he's down here for sure. And also, I feel like a lot of people don't want to play him because he's slow and kind of lame. Wario. Wario is a character that everyone, in theory, thinks they can play, and then they play against any character that isn't like a winning matchup or a simple matchup, and it's kind of hard to play him. The bike intricacies, the combo intricacies, how Nair will randomly not work is annoying, and I feel like a lot of people don't know it. Also, his fastball timings are like super particular, so I feel like it's a little harder than people give him credit for, but he's not like one of the hardest characters in the game. Zelda. No one knows how to play them, and also no one's interested in playing them, but everyone knows how to phantom and hit giant up air and up be out of shield. So like the couple of good moves she has, people know how to deal with, to do it, to deal with it. But I definitely think that her some of her stuff is simple enough that it's fine, and like Nehru's loving out of uh, disadvantage. Like people know how to do that. Zero suit. I think zero suit is simple 
in terms of Zare and Jab and like her combos are like relatively simple, at least for like, you know, having a decently competent Zare suit. But learning how to run up an F tilt using a weird tether grab, of course her edge guards are a little awkward, using side B's a little awkward. Uh, of course, moves not functioning. Always gonna be difficult because you have to learn when the moves are gonna function or not. So in my opinion, Zero Suit's a little harder than people would think, but also easier than, you know, Mars apologists will say she is. And for the last character, Wolf. I feel like Wolf, everyone can kind of play Wolf. I don't think it's like in this S tier of like, everyone has a very competent version of this character. It's like, yeah, you can play him, but also like he, not as, he doesn't have great range. He relies a lot on two framing and he is squishy if you don't use your resources incredibly well. So in my opinion, Wolf is in this A tier. And yeah, that is going to be the list. Again, this is the list of, you know, how likely it is that a decent, like a, a decent player can, is likely to be able to play whatever character at, that isn't their main. So yeah, that is going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed. As always, social media stride and partner stuff is down below. Let me know what other tier lists you want me to do and I will see you all next time. Peace.